Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Bauer Hyperlite Blocker Snapshot Review. We're going to compare it to the 2X Pro in this video. We'll have another video comparing it to the Ultrasonic. And I have a bunch of other videos with the catching glove comparing all those different pieces as well as the pads. So make sure you check those out. They'll be linked in the description if you want to see those as well. But before we begin all of this, this set was like this video series basically almost didn't happen until one person came in clutch for me. And as this gear has been getting harder and harder for me to grab my hands on and actually do videos on. So if this video was helpful and you like this type of content and you want to see more, please reach out to the companies on social media and let them know. It doesn't have to be Bauer in this sense. Like for example, if you want to see the CCM stuff or if you want to see the Vaughn stuff, reach out to them on social media and let them know you want to see me do reviews. I don't care. I'm not like asking for free gear so I can use it and keep it type thing. Demo sets like these are fine so I can talk about the features and stuff like that and talk about what I think is a good improvement or not. I'm not asking for giveaways, just like even if reps drop stuff off because like I said, this was really hard for me to get to happen and almost didn't happen. With that said, if this video is helpful and it helps you make a purchase to Bauer gear, it would be greatly appreciated if you reach out to Bauer on social media and let them know that my video was helpful, kind of helped push towards that of me being able to do these more regularly and more consistently. Before we begin all this, if you live in the United States and you are going to purchase hockey equipment, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey, Pure Goalie. Clicking that link, making purchase gives me a kickback so I keep doing videos and buying more actual gear to do reviews on. Like I said, these retail sets are going to be harder for me to get in the future, so I'll have to buy more stuff to actually do any content. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel, check out the link to Buy Me Coffee and Patreon. Everything through there will come right back into the channel so I keep doing videos and make more content, like I said. So first, I'm just going to start off with this and get it out there. Um, I can't find any pictures I can share on the cust the pro custom options. The one X is back. So I got to give Bauer huge credit for this. I've been running a hashtag on Instagram for years now of bring back the one X. Now this is called the two piece in Bauer's pro custom design. It's not on their website. You have to go through stores and do it. There's only a PDF booklet. I can't share that PDF booklet because everyone who sent it to me has said, please do not share this for content. So I can't share it, but it exists. There are pictures in that booklet of the Hyperlite graphic on this blocker with like no sidewall stuff, like colors. You can do a pro custom of this blocker. I am trying to buy one. I love this blocker. I think it's phenomenal. I've always said that Bauer shouldn't have gotten rid of this blocker because the hand position is unique to basically one or two companies now. They moved the hand position too high. So it's basically like an ultrasonic and the Supreme line here. But this one was awesome and a ton of pros use this style of blocker. It's a phenomenal blocker. It's back. Huge props to Bauer. Again, I'm supporting that decision by trying to buy a DigiPrint one when this video uh, was filmed. Hopefully I'll have it by the time or the, the order will be in by the time that the video goes live. Now I totally get why it doesn't exist as stock retail. The Hyperlite blocker is ridiculously light compared to any other blocker I have. It feels like the weight of warrior blockers and warrior stuff feels really light, but this blocker just blows warrior stuff out of the way. So it's not really even a comparison. Let's begin by kind of comparing these two and to see what they changed. Most of the changes are kind of under the hood and towards the palm area. The one thing that I kind of noticed is this part feels a little bit stiffer. So the sidewall feels a little bit stiffer than what was here, but that could just be because mine is worn and it's an older glove and this one's brand new, but it does feel a bit stiffer there. I don't have any marketing stuff to go off of, so I can't talk about any of that. I can just go off about like kind of what I'm feeling and things like that. So the board looks the same. And even though this one looks like it's sloped more, when you actually sit them side by side, they are the exact same shape or so close that you can't tell. So it's not really an issue. The sideboard is still super thin. I saw people when a, a store or someone posted pictures from this on the store, like, oh my God, it's so thin. It's been thin for a while. The thing that Bauer does that's really impressive is how solid these boards are. So there's no bend at all, as you can see. And even so that they have that thin board, there's no bend. So it doesn't actually give like, unlike some gloves in the past did. The big change, as you can see, exists right here in the cuff. So this is basically the Supreme style cuff. I'll have a video comparing this one exactly to the Supreme glove. But for the time being, this is basically the new ultrasonic cuff right there, where the old one is this more traditional design. They basically got rid of this piece and kind of just changed up how this is using molded foams. I'm a fan of molded foams. They're great. So I, I'm always okay with Bauer using them more and more. Uh, the next change you can sort of tell is right here. 
basically the finger is actually now angled just like the ultrasonic one was and that part is right here so you can see that angle what happens is when you close your fingers it stays closer to your fingertips so it's a great design there a uh, slight improvement over what it was before which was just as you can see it's just flat and it does come off a little bit where this piece had to be bigger on the new one because it follows your fingertips it can be small and still covers more area for that protection this thing is important i always talk about like backhand protection here and fingertip protection i have a video up on instagram of casey de smith making a save with this in the nhl sometimes pucks slip through it's important on my gloves you can see there's puck marks there's always puck marks on there because they slip through that's an important piece i like what bauer has done with it the next big change is the palm is this was not really a loose palm it was a lot tighter than what the old supreme was but this palm is basically the same as what's on the ultrasonic so it's really tight and it has those adjustable fingertips which is basically these little velcro pieces underneath so you can adjust how tight the fingers are into this protection piece well it's on these three fingers right there this one just closes normally so that is a really nice piece as well they do have pour on on the underside of these fingers just like the ultrasonic does great design these feel really nice it's basically like negative spacing of gloves just how great that is and the elastic or the spandex right there allows for mobility it just feels really nice in your hands the palm is not quite as soft as what was on the ultrasonic it doesn't feel quite as nice in my opinion but it's still fine i would have preferred this to be sure grip and they use sure grip in here i'm a huge fan of sure grip just for added grip and the reason I, I just think it would be a different thing than what this palm is compared to the ultrasonic, it would just give you that option, but it's fine. And that I am totally okay with what that is. So that's good there. You do have padding right here as well, which is the same as the ultrasonic and the 2X Pro had a little tiny bit of padding in the palm as well. So again, you're not losing much there. I will say the Quattro material on this or whatever it was called was a bit softer than what this one was, but you're not losing anything. It is still fine all the way through for that. Now, one of the changes, that I really like on this blocker is kind of not really, you can't really see it right now. And that is basically the index finger protection. So there was always this gap in the finger protection, as you can see, like right there. Whereas the ultrasonic has a piece in here. This one never really did. And that did kind of create that gap. You can see it's actually a straight line to your finger right there. I mean, it would be kind of hard for Puck to hit it, but it was still there and slightly disappointing. But Bauer completely adjusted that because now there is this little piece right in here. And as you can see right now, that kind of area is completely blocked up. That part of your fingers now hits a piece of padding in there. It is an all black glove, so it's kind of hard to see, but it is right in there. You can see it right there. So that spot is adjustable and it velcros out, as you can see here, and you can adjust it up and down. If you put it too high up, I mean, you could put it on the outside like this, but this part isn't really attached, so it'll probably come out because there is Velcro in there, but you can put it in and you kind of just adjust it how you want it to. I put it so it basically just sits underneath that little piece right there and it worked well for that extra protection. So nothing was really gonna hit there. But like I said, you can adjust it up and down just to make sure it doesn't get in the way of this or anything and it works fine. And it's a really nice little adjustment or added piece that they didn't have before. So props to them there. I think they could have put it on the outside to make it like a little flat like the CCM ones and stuff are, but it's fine. and it will do its job. I always see people with goalie block and stuff now, and I have never had issues with my blockers because all the blockers I specifically buy have really good index finger protection here. And that's what I look for. I haven't had an issue with it with any of my gloves. Uh, anyways, one part that I do want to call out here that's kind of interesting is they now have this wear guard right here on the inside of here, which was not there on my old one. As you can see, it's kind of getting black. So it's interesting that they added that there. I'm not sure if that was a big wear zone. It might've been. You can see a little bit of wear in here, but nothing major, but nice little touch of them to add it all along this edge here where the sticker just things will kind of come up on. Here shows off the fingertip protection on here as well. So you can see your fingertips are covered pretty well with that little angle. And sorry, this tags in the way. Compared to the old one, you can definitely see your fingers are more exposed here, even that this is longer, just doesn't quite come down as much naturally so the new one is definitely better in that sense in that design so good job bauer for updating that the one thing i've noticed on this line which has been slightly disappointing is the lack of thermal core bauer used to have 37.5 which was a material that was supposed to evaporate sweat at your body heat 37.5 degrees celsius and that was on all of their liners basically to make sure they didn't get soaked or if they were soaked they would end your body heat itself would end up making them evaporate I don't know how much it worked. I know that Bauer cut back on a lot of the things that they were doing licensing on, and that was one of the things that they got rid of right away. 
So they use their thermal core on the 2X Pro, which can be seen here, and it's on this liner. Liner is very comfortable and very nice, and they have this abrasion zones right here. All of that is gone, uh, unfortunately. Now it is a sure grip material on this liner, which by all means is fine. I like the sure grip material. I think it's extremely comfortable. I actually like this material more than the thermal core and the abrasion zones on like this right here, just from my bare skin. So I, I got to give them props for that just because I do like that material. Like, but it is disappointing to see the abrasion zones go away. I have had gloves in the past that would wear out, as you can see here with the 37.5, um, where basically Velcros and stuff would end up wearing this area. Well, it is sure grip, so sure grip should not really Velcro attached to anything. I would have liked to see that abrasion zones kind of extended on here because that is an area I always saw wear before. Again, not a huge thing, but something I want to call out because I have seen less and less of that kind of thermal core on these, this, the Hyperlite line itself. Hand position is still the same. So it's, it's upper on the glove. Basically you just stick out your fingers. You can see how far this, the fingers stick out on and like where the actual hand is. This one was a lower one. This one is up on the top, like higher up, very similar to Supreme. Uh, idea about this hand position, like I said, it's the same on both of these, but the idea about this hand position is if you're reaching for pucks low, there's more of the blocker kind of lower. So it's easier to get those low shots, like right above your pad. It's where people tend to score quite a lot because it's a hard thing to reach. So this one will help a little bit more with that. Whereas the higher or the mid hand position like this covers more up here. So you kind of get double coverage, but it's just the balance I really like on this. And I really love the feel of it. So a lot of goalies end up staying with that. This one does just because there's more of the thing down here. It's not like it like tips over or anything like that but it does allow you to reach lower and it just doesn't have as much coverage up here, which again is fine. It's all just a personal preference thing. And while I was critical of Bauer in the past for this blocker and the cream blockers being the same position, kind of being useless having two of the same. Now that the other one, this is an option, I really can't, I'm not gonna be critical about that because it's still an option. And this one is so light and it's such a great blocker anyways. I have no problems with it basically. And it's really good. I, you know, unfortunately a lot of people care about weight. The very first thing they notice is how much something weighs or how it feels in your hand off the shelf. And that drives people to buy things. This is kind of the case here. This is super light. So people will like it more. This is probably the second best blocker on the market right now. I would still say the best is the Supreme just because it has a slightly bigger index finger, stuff like that, but it's really good. And so I have no problems with this being a thing anymore. And thank you very much for bringing this out basically. Their new kind of cuff, I think it's to open it up more. It doesn't really work that well. And what I mean by that is this one is the standard design like this and it worked really well. So if I put my hand like this and I go tilt like that, it tilts more with this cuff than it does with the new one. So it, it's really easy to go basically 90 degrees from my arm where this one is much more difficult to do so. So it doesn't quite go there. And this is really restricting it, basically restricting it right here. So I guess you really could take this strap off totally. So it's just totally free flowing. But even when I make it lighter, you still feel the restrictions or sorry, less tight. You still feel the restrictions. So I'm kind of curious as why this is like the design they went with. Like I said right there, and I guess the demonstration here is it doesn't quite go to the 90 degrees, whereas this one like very easily does on my hand. So you definitely get more mobility with this style compared to this style. So I really don't understand why this is a thing, like this style is a thing. This is obviously really great overall and it's fine, just not quite as much mobility there. Maybe this a whole thing weighs a little bit more than what this does, so that might be a reason. Rebounds on this will still fly. It's still curve in there. Bauer's been the best blockers for a while for rebounds and for a lot of stuff. It's still gonna exist. It's still really good. One thing I wanna call out, and I hate calling this out on demo gear because it's not mine. Um, the stitching on here blew out and I didn't blow it out. It just wasn't connected all the way. So make sure you check that out. You can see the threads here just didn't, like right here is loose and it didn't, and there's, other, there's another side loose over here. It just, something happened where it didn't go all the way. Bauer had issues with, uh, fingers on their old the first generation of ultrasonic gloves were basically the backhand ripped open and poron came out clearly there was a little thing here so just do a once over when you get your gear and when like if you're looking at gear off the shelf of making sure this stuff is all sewn together this is what happened on a pass out blocker i had and i criticized it and because that shouldn't happen and again it shouldn't happen here hopefully this is one of like the pre-production ones where because it's a, a demo set and not like a sale set and that that's the only thing that happened, but I want to call out cause that's stuff like that's important to me. You pay a lot of money for this stuff. You should get quality 
and there shouldn't be any things missing like that. So that's about it for this blocker. Um, I would love this blocker. I would very happily use this blocker, but at the same time, Bauer came out with this and I love this blocker more. So really buy it just because of how good the One X is for me, but this is excellent. If you're buying the whole set, it's great. Try it on. I'm just going to assume most more people are going to like this one than the Supreme just because of the weight difference or zero issues with this besides that little stitching thing. Definitely recommend it. Basically, in my opinion, the third best blocker on the market only because of the ultrasonic and the two piece. But besides that's really, really good. So check it out. Full custom set, you should be happy with it or just off the shelf set. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And like I said earlier, getting this stuff has been more difficult this year. So if this video was helpful and you wanna see more of these, please reach out to companies and let them know and say if you want hockey reviews to do a review on this. This almost didn't happen until someone came in really clutch for me, so huge thanks to them. Because that's happening as well, I have to end up buying more sets to actually use and everything like that, So if you and more gear. So if you want to support the channel, check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey and Pure Goalie. If you live in the United States, click that link, make a purchase, gives me a kickback, so everything will come back into the channel so I keep doing videos. Otherwise, check out Patreon, buy me a coffee, links are in the description as well. And once again, everything goes through there, comes right back in so I can do, keep doing more reviews. Because like I said, it's going to be harder for me to get gear to do actual content on this year. So I'll have to buy it and that would be greatly appreciated. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.